Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. You are all keeping well out there. Some more updates for you. This morning, well at long last, there is some news, and some more information on that. Does Prince Harry regret his move? It seems as if almost every day, there is news coming out regarding Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and we have to say that they never fail to surprise us. The couple is one of the most high profile in the entire world, although they have made it clear that they prefer to keep the personal details of their relationship as private as possible. After getting married, it was obvious that Meghan and Harry just couldn't catch a break, and they were followed by photographers and hounded relentlessly. Prince Harry, on more than one occasion, released statements asking the news media to back off a little, however, his attempts didn't exactly work. Early in the year, everyone was shocked when the Duke and Duchess made the unexpected announcement that they were stepping down as senior royals. Since then, fans have been following them pretty closely, watching as the couple moved first to Canada, and then to Los Angeles in search of a quieter life. Many people are wondering if they got what they are looking for. So, does Prince Harry regret his move? Apparently, he had unrealistic expectations of life in Los Angeles, leaving the royal family behind. It is not every day that we get reports of royal family members stepping down from their positions, but for Meghan and Prince Harry, that is exactly what happened. According to USA Today, the couple ultimately decided that they wanted to experience life outside of the glaring spotlight, and before we knew it, Mexit was in full swing. After a few months, they packed up and left England in order to live in Canada, where many people thought that they would stay permanently. However, the surprises weren't over yet, and fans watched as Meghan and Prince Harry headed to the West Coast, thousands of miles away from the life that they were used to, and began a new life in California. Why did they decide to go to California? It is no secret that Meghan and Prince Harry could have chosen anywhere in the world to call home. So why did they head to California? There were several reasons for the decision. Meghan was born and raised in Los Angeles, and her mother, Doria Ragland, still lives there. We can only imagine that she was excited to bring her husband to her old hometown and show him the life that she loves so much. Megan and Prince Harry felt that by living in California, they could finally have the life that they had longed for, all while continuing to work on projects and causes that are meaningful to the both of them. Does Prince Harry regret his move? The Duke of Sussex reportedly had unrealistic expectations of life in Los Angeles. Moving is never easy, and Prince Harry left his whole life behind when he moved so far away from the place he had always called home. So, does he regret it? According to US Weekly, the Duke is struggling a bit. California and England are two completely different places, and so many people had anticipated that Prince Harry would experience a culture shock upon his move. Apparently, he did have unrealistic expectations, and is finding that life in California isn't all that he had originally thought it would be. Although we don't know what his next move will ultimately be, it could be that he just needs the time to get used to a completely different environment that he is now in, and perhaps things will get better in the future. We can only hope that Prince Harry finds where he is looking for and can happily move forward on his new adventure. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry just put their new charity Arkawell on hold for the foreseeable future. When Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex left the British royal family after struggling in their roles as senior working royals, 
the pair hoped to get the ball rolling on their new venture immediately. However, world events have forced them to completely shift their course. The duo left Vancouver Island in Canada for the Duchess hometown of Los Angeles to hunker down amid the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic. Then, amid the global stay-at-home orders and uprisings led by the Black Lives Matters movement, seeing the urgent inequities across the globe for black people, other minorities, and the impoverished, the Sussexes have officially put their Arcoel Foundation on hold for the foreseeable future. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were very deliberate about moving to Los Angeles. Though Mexico came as a surprise to many of us, the Sussexes had reportedly been discussing striking out on their own path since before they got married. An insider told The Sun, the seeds of Mexit were sown before they even got married. The truth is that Harry had been deeply unhappy for a long time. And he and Meghan openly discussed going in a different direction, well before they got married. Though Los Angeles was a surprising landing place for the pair, there was a reason why they chose Meghan's hometown. In addition to having a supportive network including Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, Oprah Winfrey, and others, their massive team is also in Hollywood. The Sussexes team includes an agent, business agent, lawyer, and PR firm. Nick Collins of the Gersh Agency, who has represented celebrities including Tobey Maguire and Jamie Foxx, is in charge of taking care of film, TV, or charity offers. Andrew Meyer, who runs Freemark Financial, is the mastermind behind Meghan's business plans. Then, the Sussex's lawyer Rick Geno is a Harvard graduate. He considered one of the top attorneys in Hollywood who will handle Meghan's legal affairs. PR firm Sunshine Sachs is handling the couple's publicity. Inside Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Arkwell brand. Though the Sussexes wanted to hold off on announcing Megxit, when the brand name leaked to the press, they came forward to explain their future endeavors. The Sussexes shared in a statement, Like you, our focus is on supporting efforts to tackle the global COVID-19 pandemic, but faced with this information coming to light, we felt compelled to share the story of how this came to be. Trademark paperwork from Arcoel suggests that the brand could consist of everything from movies to podcasts, clothing to charitable services, and even online seminars, lectures, and retreats. This is why Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are putting Arcoel on hold. Though they had hoped to launch Arcoel later this year, the Sussexes have put Arcoel on hold for the foreseeable future. Amid current world events, the pair have decided to shift their focus. A source told The Telegraph, they are redirecting their efforts to the Black Lives Matter cause and the wider repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, Arcoel is not expected to launch until 2021. A source told the Daily Mail, What's absolutely clear is that they want to get it right and there's no point in rushing. We are settling into a new life, a new era. This is about getting it right and making sure they are able to make the difference they want to make. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Stop.